artist friends. We're going to draw something great today. We're going to draw an elephant. It's going to be very simple and very easy and I think you're going to love it. So get your paper and your pencil or your crayons or your markers and let's get drawing. Okay, for an elephant we're going to be using a lot of curved lines and the first line we're going to do is his back. Let's draw a big curved line starting right here and down like that. We'll stop right there. Okay, now the other big curve is his ear. So let's come right here and draw a big curved shape just like that for his ear. Okay, now we're going to draw another curved line. We're going to start right here by the ear. We're going to come a little bit above and come out, down, and curve up. I'm sure you guys know that that is his trunk. Now for the other part of the trunk, I'm going to draw this, but my lines are going to get closer together as we near the end of the nose because it's smaller down there. So starting right here, let's start our line and curve down until we get to this edge. Okay, now on the end of this, we're going to draw a circle. So let's draw a circle and we're going to draw two dots for his nostrils. All right, now let's draw a horn too. Some um, elephants have horns and some don't. Tusks is what they're called on the elephant. We're just going to draw a curved line up to a point and back in. Okay, now let's draw the elephant's eye. Just a circle and then you can draw a curved line over the top and underneath. Now elephants are really, really wrinkly and they have lots of lines and lots of texture. So I want you to add a couple more lines around that eye, okay, to really show a lot of texture. And I also want you to add some lines on the trunk. And they need to be curved because his trunk goes around. So our lines have to go around. So let's add some lines like this. And notice I'm going to get smaller and shorter as I come to the trunk. Okay. Now, let's draw his legs. Right, starting right here, I'm going to draw a little bit of where his chest is. And then I'm going to come over just a bit and I'm going to draw this first leg down. These are kind of thick legs. And they go out just a little at the bottom. And I'm going to curve this way, not straight. Okay, now this leg can just come, follow that line, same spot down, same length down, and a curved line. Okay, let's draw this back leg. We're going to kind of start up here. It's a very, very big muscle. Come way up here and then come in and down. Try to stop about the same place as these legs. Bring this line down and a little bit of a curve. And now we have to draw his tummy because his other leg is on the other side of his tummy. So a little bit below where these legs start, Draw a round line for the elephant's tummy. Okay, now we just have to do this back leg and around. All right, now in order to make these really look like elephant legs, we need big toenails and we need a lot of lines. Their toenails are really easy. They're just upside down U's or rainbow shaped. So we'll just go one, two, three. One, two, three. And I can fit one right there, and on this side, I can probably fit two. Okay, now right where their knees are is where they get all those lines. So I want you to make um, some curved lines that go up and some curved lines that go down, right about where his knee would be. Okay, now I'm missing something over here. They have a really little tail, but they do have a tail. So we're going to come out and just draw really tiny triangle and then just some straight lines for the hair on the end of the tail just like that that come out okay now if you want to we can draw just a little bit of the inside of the ear we're going to follow the same line really close to the first one we drew so just like this okay and you know what i've noticed at the zoo elephants have a little bit of hair sticking up just a little bit. They're just a little bit fuzzy. You wouldn't think they were because their skin looks so tough, but I'm just going to add a little bit of hair there for texture. And there you have an elephant. 
great job today. Remember that you are a great artist. Keep drawing, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.